We understand that the Central Bureau of Investigation has filed an FIR against Sun TV and its uh, promoter Kalanadi Maran uh, with regards to, uh, yeah, to, to uh, the company taking uh, over 300 fake BSNL connections. That's the uh, report that we have on our screen now. Let's take it across straight to uh, ET now. Suchetna Ray Johnson with more details. Suchetna, this is of course a different case as against the Aircel Maxis case which has been going on for a very long time, which the CBI is also probing. This is another case pertaining to phone connections of BSNL. Uh, uh, to help us understand what is this case all about and what is the action that the CBI has taken so far. Sandeep, as you correctly mentioned, this is a separate case from the ASL Maxis case. This case pertains to the period when Dianidhi Maran was the telecom minister. The case is uh, about allegations that Sun TV officials uh, and BSNL officials colluded to provide Sun TV with 300 ISD lines. These are high-speed uh, data connection lines which were provided to, uh, B, uh, to Sun TV in return for favors that uh, Dhanidhi Maran provided to these BSNL officials. So to the CBI tell us that this uh, case has now been registered. They have named Kalanidhi Maran. Officials from BSNL have also find in, themselves in that FIR, and so does other officials from Sun TV. We do not have a confirmation so far whether Dhanidhi Maran, who was the acting telecom minister at that time, has also been named in this FIR or not. Sources in CBI tell us that this is a case they began investigating around 2000. 12, and they have registered a case against Kalani Bhimaran, Sun TV officials, BSNL and its officials. Right. Uh, so, Chetna, the obvious follow-up is, of course, that what is likely to be the next course of action now that they've registered a case? Uh, uh, can we expect some sort of a questioning to happen? And also, parallelly, what's happening on the Aircel Maxis case? Is it fair to assume that that uh, uh, issue has largely been uh, resolved for now? In CBI tell us that uh, on the 4th of October, they are likely to submit a status report to the Supreme Court on the ASL Max's case. There is a problem, however, there. They will be seeking more time from the Apex Court to finish their investigation simply because uh, Malaysian government and uh, the, the te telecom company Maxis has been threatening India with an international arbitration. They say that because of this case, because of the FIR and the CBI probe, it has earned Malaysia a bad name and it has earned the Maxis group a very bad name as far as their investments worldwide are concerned. And that is exactly why CBI is treading very cautiously on this matter. So it is tell us that when on Friday their status report comes up uh, before the Supreme Court, they're likely to seek more time. Sources in CBI also suggest that now that there are two FIRs against Kalanidhi Maran, remember Kalanidhi Maran was also named in the ASL Max's case, he is likely to be questioned shortly, not only regarding this uh, BSNL case, but also regarding ASL Max's case as well. Maran brothers were questioned early in 2012 on the ASL Max's case and are likely to be called back for questioning as CBI is seeking about two months extra time to finish their probe into the ASL Max's deal.